Hello, everybody. This is King of Podcasts. Thanks for joining me right here. Yes, this show has changed names. No longer when I'm not podcasting. The name of the show now is Depraved and Debaucherous. And by showing you understanding what's all this about, I want to go ahead and explain to you and really just describe why the show is getting a new name. Well, let me tell you like this, first of all. To understand everything, you need to go and see what I mean by the actual name of the show. Let me share the screen real quick, and let me show you what I mean when it comes to the meaning of depraved and depotrous. Again, depravity, a corrupt act or practice, the quality of being corrupt, evil, or perverted, the quality of state or being depraved. Now, I'm not saying it as a good or a bad thing. When I say this to all of you, I'm just making a point. Then there's debauchery, and debauchery is extreme indulgence in bodily pleasures and especially, especially, especially sexual pleasures, sex, drugs, alcohol, other things that are considered immoral. So look, some people will say that we're in a downward spiral as a society because things are changing so much, and we're in a continued decline of who we are. Well, I'm just pointing it out. If you notice in my program, Aside from the times I might do a little movie review here and there, talk about something in the media or whatever else, I've noticed myself time and time again going back to talking about things that are people being depraved or people being debaucherous when it comes to sex, dating, relationships, narcissism, psychology, all these different areas. I've gotten to this more and more. And with all the episodes I have right now, lined up to be running here on Monday to Fridays on podcast format in audio form. This series will continue as it is on Mondays and Fridays. New episodes will drop for all of you to listen to, and they'll be available Mondays and Tuesdays on YouTube, youtube.com slash J-B-R-A-S-C-O 951. And I just noticed I'm going in that direction. And so my thing, my thought process behind it is just that we do need to realize, especially for guys out there and for women to really understand that sometimes some of the depravity and debauchery that we go put ourselves through, it, they're vices we all have. And that's okay, but we also want to be able to go and live with those vices in somewhat of a moderation and be able to be happy and, and find fulfillment in our lives. And sometimes it doesn't mean we have to get married. Sometimes it doesn't mean we have to conform to what everybody else does. I don't. And that's why I do this show. What I'm not podcasting was really was a water cooler of everything. But now I want to narrow it down because I realize this is really my passion of the all the other things I talk about when it comes to wrestling, when it comes to media, it's everyday life and how the younger women, men and women out there could use a little wide sage advice or just some understanding and just putting things into context, educating, informing, and just doing it without being political. That's the other part because always politics gets thrown into everything because it does come to the fact that men and women have their choices, but also they should understand the consequences they get with them and also understand what it means by them doing it, negative or positive. Those are the kind of things I worry about. And I think about all the time. I, and why would I be a, a supposed expert to be talking about depravity or debauchery? Because I'm one. What I can tell you is when it comes to self-improvement, my self-improvement involves me almost being like an amateur psychologist because I've read so many books on psychology, self-help, relationships, various issues, men's and women's issues. And I feel like I can find stories that are out there from a psychological standpoint, from a sociological standpoint, and just talk about it. And it's, we are all, that's why even the logo behind me, if you're watching on video, it's a stamp that we are depraved and debaucherous. And I will point out the people who are depraved and debaucherous. And I will point out the things that are depraved and debaucherous, all the things that are under the category of depravity and debauchery. But for me, it was an understanding to make sure that you understand the, the definitions and how it ties into the incarnation of this new series. 
which will now replace when I'm not podcasting. And maybe one of my podcasting will live in some way, shape, or form, but I'm not continuing that series as it was. I think I've already run this course, 436 episodes over a couple of years. And it was right before pandemic I started, but now I feel like I want to go a different direction. So you'll still get episodes from me, but now under this new name, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for enjoying and hope you'll continue to enjoy and download and subscribe for future episodes of Depraved and Debaucherous, a new venture from yours to the King of Podcasts to you. I'll talk to you soon next time.